Hey, VConf goers, Ben Holmes here, B Holmes Dev everywhere else. And I'm here to talk about Island's architecture. Now, hang on, is that, is that whiteboard the web calling me? Hang on, I'm gonna take this. Hey, hey, how's it going? Nice sunscreen. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I just got back from an island retreat and I'm getting back into the swing of things. Yeah, I'm recording a conference myself. Oh. Uh, you wanna record the intro? Oh, uh, I was getting ready to record a whiteboard the web for that, but sure, I could give it to you now. I just need to, uh, clean up real fast. One second. <laughs> Crazy guy. Guy's back. Yeah, yeah, I'm fast. Uh, let me reset this guy real quick. Do you want me to start with an example? Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, basic HTML page here. And I capitalized all the components I might be pulling from Preact or Vue or felt like a, a nav bar that slides in and out on mobile, a hero banner is just some text, maybe an image carousel that you can slide through, and the ones that actually need like JavaScript and clicking are in red. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay, cool. So if I build this whole thing top to bottom with JSX, I'd ship JavaScript for the whole thing. Of course, these aren't real numbers, but we're getting a sliver of JavaScript to represent every element on our page, interactive or not. It's not very efficient. Yeah, exactly. So what if there was a way to only ship JavaScript for these ones and erase it for the other ones? Mm. That's where I would bring in something like Iowans Architecture to turn these two guys into hydrated islands. Mm -hmm. So I added some client directives here to decide when to load JavaScript for these. So we're not going to load JavaScript for any elements on the page. Save on that. Mm. And then for the nav bar, I'm going to load JavaScript when it's 600 pixels or less. So mm. only load the mobile slide out, make it static on desktop. Smart. Yeah, it's cool. And then for the carousel, I'm going to use client visible to say delay loading that JavaScript until it scrolls into view because maybe we have a big carousel library or something. <laughs> it's like Astro. Yeah, it's like Astro, but I can see the way to do this with just web components too. I have an example repo if you want to try it out. Sure, send it. Okay, awesome. I can uh, send you the link if you want to, and you can demo that for your talk. Same work. Perfect. Okay, I'll send it to you, uh, but I'll hang up. Definitely get back to what you're doing. I'll see you around. Yeah, great talking to you, okay. man. Visit whiteboardtheweb.dev. Oh my God. Okay, let's grab that example repo, see what's going on. All right, I have it pulled up. Okay, let's go ahead and just run this guy. I'm sure it's just the dev command, sure is. We can see a dev server here, and it's just uh, Vite plus Preact. It almost looks like the starter. I assume we're using Preact Islands for this, but it's not always what it seems. Let's check out the code. Yeah, some spiciness going on here. So we have a Vite land, which I assume is a Vite powered island, and that's loading up our app. And uh, we have one script on the page for client.ts. Let's see what that is. Okay, so VTLand is a web component as promised. And whenever that component loads, we're going to reach into this islands object. Okay, so this is a manifest of all of the islands inside of this fancy islands folder over here with functions to delay loading that component until we actually need it. Very cool. So we grab the component, and if it exists, we're going to render it with Preact. Pretty simple. So we have some other components in here. Let's try them. Uh, ooh, linking out to one of my blog posts here on building an image carousel adapted to Preact. Definitely worth a read if you want to learn how to build an accessible carousel. Um, but to add that to the page, I'm sure I can just make another island, this time with a uh, image carousel. According to that manifest, that's your load. Yeah, with some nice album art too, interactivity. Awesome. Um, but we probably want to delay loading that JavaScript until it scrolls into view like that cool demo. So I'm going to make this work, client colon visible, a lot like Astro. Um, so in order to check that in a web component, I'm sure you can just say, does it have the attribute client visible? Uh, if so, we're going to wait until it's on the screen and ooh, we have some helpers up here. So this is going to wait for this intersection observer to resolve. So when it's intersecting the page, we're going to resolve true so that we can fall down and load the component. So here I'm just going to wait for it to be visible on the screen and I'm going to pass in this as the element, this web component. So now it should only load the component. It's on the screen. Um, and if I head over here, I can add a little divider maybe. So that's off the screen. We can check that it's actually doing it in our network activity. We can add margin top to this guy. All right, and uh, now it's off the screen. Let's see our network activity, scroll down. And there it is, even lazy loading the images. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, I'm sure we can do that with our mobile nav here. We can only load it when it's like, you know, on mobile and on desktop, we can avoid loading JavaScript entirely. Uh, I'll add another island for that. Mobile nav is what I saw. And uh, client media is what we want this to be. And this is going to be max width 600 pixels or 500, sure. And um, 
inside of clients. Uh, we have a media utility, sure. This is checking window match media, which is a cool native browser API for this sort of thing. So similar game as this, check if it has the attribute, this time client media. And instead of visible, we're gonna wait for this media query to be satisfied. And the query is just this.get attribute client media. So whatever you pass in, I'm gonna pass to match media. Okay, so now we don't see it on the screen, makes sense. But when I squoosh this down to mobile view, all right, it pops in and we see our client being loaded down here. Awesome, with interactivity, okay. Um, so yeah, pretty simple demo of islands. If you want to use base web components, you can wire up attributes on your own. But if you want to handle like server-side rendering, prop passing, other frameworks other than Preact, of course I'm going to point you to astro.build, an amazing project to let you use any framework that you want with some of those client directives that I showed you, with a whole bunch more for like markdown, adding tailwind with no config, etc. So definitely go check out that project if you want to buy into islands. Otherwise, Enjoy the rest of the talk. Thanks for your time.